Brian, how's everyone doing today? Alright, so just so you guys know, SVX is down to 4, Trilogy down to 6, the Tins are down to 9, Platinum down to 7. All these breaks are moving nicely. Let's get the ball rolling. I had only four left in SPX. That one's probably going to be the first one to go. Then we've got the Trilogy with six left. The Tin Break at nine left. So I'm hoping we can get uh, at least a couple of these going today. That would be perfect. So again, SPX is the closest four left. Boston, Calgary, Chicago, San Jose. Four solid teams. And how about that game for Montreal last night? Just incredible. What is happening? I'll be right back, folks. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for Fleury on that though. That was just uh, really unfortunate for him.
The stall, yeah, you know what? The stall giveaway is bad, of course. But again, the stall giveaway happened in the middle of the game. There's a big difference, in my opinion, between a giveaway in the middle of the game versus a uh, a two minutes away from winning and taking the series lead and making that goof. But I, I just feel bad for me. Mon Montreal's such a lucky team. They get some crazy lucky plays happening their way. And said, last game was one of the few games I've seen them play in the last eight or nine games that they definitely did not deserve to win that game. All the other games they deserved, I would say, deserved to win or were very competitive to win. Last game was literally the first game I've seen in a while where they absolutely did not deserve the W in that game. What's up, KJ? How you doing? They are an absolute workhorse of a team. They really, really are a workhorse of a team. <laughs> you know what though I will say turnover they kind of did again looking at positives they did come back from a three goal lead and a two goal lead they couldn't finish I agree that sucked but so they definitely uh, absolute craziness So again, if anyone wants to get the SPX going, we are literally just four away, and I think three of those four spots are like 15 or 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks, 15, 25. And then Chicago, which is a good potential. And then Trilogy is now creeping up at five left and no spots. There's a 10, a 25, a 25, a 40. So we have two breaks very close. And that Father's Day monster is flying, holy moly. Might do a second one after this. I might post a second one and do a battle. Do a monster versus monster or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I might get that going too.
That's a pretty spicy monster. That's a spicy meatball. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know about that, actually. Sorry. I knew about that, but not into an official capacity knowing about it. Um, someone asked me about my thoughts on Upper Deck not setting up the National. Rich, out of curiosity, what reason did they give? I'm semi-curious about what they said. I haven't read up on what they officially said. I'm very, uh, I will definitely read up on it, but I'm curious what they actually said on why. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty big step for them in my opinion. Yeah. I can read that up right now. Upper Deck National. Let's see what comes up. Again, I know there's other reasons why they're doing it. I don't know if that's a smart move to do it. I, I personally don't think they uh, should have missed that because I know other companies will be there. And as you said, golf products, brand new. I feel like it's a good, uh, good debut for that. I think that's a wrong move personally. But again, I know there's other reasons why they're doing it. Or sorry, while you're not doing it. So yeah, that's that's kind of sucky. And man, the Habs fans thinking about last game. The Habs fans are literally probably one of the luckiest fans right now watching live sports have they lost a home game officially yet I, i'm trying to think they won their two home games against winnipeg they won the series at home against winnipeg they won their game six against the leafs and then they get the craziness of one of the biggest gaffes of uh the playoffs this year and then win in overtime Blows my mind, man, how lucky, uh, how lucky they are right now. But yeah, Rich, as I said, uh, you know what? I absolutely understand that they're not setting up the national. I personally think it's a very, I think it's a bold move not to do it. But again, the uh, when the higher ups make their decision, it's a big, big uh, obstacle to get past that. But I think the thing is, I don't know. I don't even think Upper Deck's a big player, even close to a big player at the national. So I don't really know, in all honesty, if it really does affect them. So, and it says, a lot of their stuff's already sold out, right? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. 
It sucks because if I do go to the National, I always like uh, having a good chat with them, seeing them. Monumental boxes are a big draw. Yeah, I agree with that. The thing is, though, Rich, I will tell you, and it's also no different for uh, Panini or Tops or any other company. I don't know about Leaf, to be honest, but I know Panini and Tops and Upper Deck. They all had very good years. Like, exceptionally good years. So... I do think that plays a factor of maybe they thought our product's already out there, our product's already sold out, we don't have excess product, are we really losing anything? And here's the other thing, Rich, I don't know if you guys are seeing it on your end, they keep increasing UDA stuff, like significantly. Like we just got an email about some Gretzky stuff that I think originally was like, I can't remember what the retail was, but like $1,500. And now it's 2500 So I feel like at a certain point they're just not caring about maybe like maybe they maybe the cost of going is, is far outweighing the cost of actually being there. So, yeah, I, said, I think you have to take that into account. Like, if I'm upper deck, the amount of travel, the amount of work for them, the amount of uh, manpower, the amount of effort, if they're going there and they're losing a lot of money, which they are, do you think they honestly care to be there? And I'm not saying it rudely about not being there for the show, but at the end of the day, it, it's one of those things I feel like there's outweighing it. Like, I've said this many times about the Expo. The Expo we lose a ton of money on. A ton of money on. Well, you figured that, right? That would be smart. And I think sometimes companies just outweigh what it is. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we have four left in SBX, five left in Trilogy. Let's try to get at least one or two of these bad boys done for the day. Couple spots to go in them and then we can get them moving. The other thing, Rich, I will say, and this is just in my opinion, just knowing Upper Deck and how they are more as a uh, as a business, 
is they're a lot more cautionate of what side effects could happen. And what I mean by that is, realistically, if they go to the show, for example, and one or two of them get COVID, it is going to be a nightmare for their office, essentially. And I do think that they look at those kind of things as a overall perspective of if, you know, Carlin or a couple other people who go there and they're at the show and they get it and they got to shut down their, I think they, they look at it like, we just don't want to ruin our, you know, what we have going for us for maybe not a significant reason of being there. Whereas, again, I'm not saying in a bad way, but where Panini's located, I feel like they're not as uh, cautionate, nor do they maybe really even care that much about it. So I do think it's, in essence, somewhat of a difference of opinions of companies, and I know Upper Deck has always been a very uh, cautious company on anything that they do. So I absolutely would not be surprised if that had something to do with it. All right, guys, four left in Trilogy, four left in SBX. Yeah, I think, uh, honestly, Tops and Panini are going to love it this year for them. Uh, Caprice of Exclusives, eh? Well, that's a pretty big card. Uh, I believe they're selling. Let me double check. They are selling. This is the last one sold for. Where are you? They're selling for about fifteen hundred bucks. I'd say fifteen hundred is probably where you're aiming for. You know what, Turno? I have no idea on these games anymore, man. They're so close on both sides. My gut tells me Tampa 3-1, something like that. Low scoring game. But I do truthfully believe Tampa is going to come out ahead. Sweet card though, congrats man. That's pretty big. That is pretty damn sweet. So again, ladies and gentlemen, four left in SBX, four left in Trilogy. Can we get those guys moving? We just need someone to grab one or two spots. And uh, we should be in a good position to get them done. We can get a couple more spots going. 
It shall be good. Looks like two left in Trilogy. Trilogy might be overtaken. So, two spots to go in the Trilogies. Somehow, we're just letting SBX sit there. SBX hopefully gets the uh, things moving nicely. And then Extended is coming out in about a week and a half, folks, so that'll be fun. That'll be super exciting. Feel like you have a piece of every single one on the board? That's funny. <clears throat> well, it looks like they're both down to two left. So, as I said, more than happy to get both of them done. Saturday's always a nice, short, and sweet day. And again, I think after this, I might post a monster versus monster. First time in a while we've done that. But this break's already had like 11 left, so. Just gotta figure out what prize I do for that. So two left and two left. And <laughs> do it. Hey, I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to see if I can build something on that. So again, whichever one gets filled first, we do first, folks. Two left, two left. We have just Chicago and San Jose in SBX, it looks like, as of right now. And then in Trilogy, it looks like Chicago and San Jose. Apparently, Chicago is not a team that people like right now. What did uh, Chicago do to you guys? So we will get there, folks. Did anyone, uh, how much are tickets going for on the uh, Habs games? They even have them up on stuff. I want to look that up quickly. I'm legitimately curious. prices apparently they do not exist on StubHub oh no they do never mind wow actually not too bad not horrible I thought there'd be way more money it's funny how the first game for the Leafs is going for that much but they like a fourth game for Vegas is Pretty reasonable, in my opinion. Uh, 
So one left in SBX, it looks like, folks. Somehow, just Chicago, one of the best teams in there. Potentially. Somehow, that one's the one that's left. And keep in mind, guys, these are both team selects, which means the second they get filled the se is the second I open it. So who wants to get them filled? As it looks like those are going to be the two breaks that we do today is Trilogy and SBX. Here's the other thing is on the uh, the parry high stick, if it's a partial follow through, I know it was not a shot, and he's got going for the puck in the air, does that change it at all? His man, Perry was definitely bleeding, wasn't he? That was, uh, that was a decent amount of blood for him. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, only two left. Let's get these two going. Only two spots to go. He was trying to sell the penalty after the game. That's interesting. It was a pretty blatant high stick. It clearly cut him quite a bit. I don't really know what he'd be selling, per se. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, folks. I'm gonna give you guys about nine minutes for Chicago, because it seems like that's gonna be the team that's gonna impede us on both of them. I'm literally gonna do double points, so give me one second. So that way, hopefully, there you go. So they should both be double points for Chicago for the next nine minutes to get them filled. So hopefully somebody wants to be a bit of a hero, take them. We get to see two fun breaks tonight, or afternoon, whatever you want to call it.
So hopefully that gets the ball rolling. So SBX looks like it should be filled soon. Looks like someone's taking Chicago. Pick Chicago SBX. Hey, I hope they do well. That'd be awesome. I really do hope that. So again, folks, I do have the same deal available for Trilogy. You guys can see once the big boy team goes, it helps move them. It looks like SBX did fill first. So three left in Trilogy, SBX Six, four, nine. So, so does anyone give the Habs an actual chance to win the cup at this point now? Myself, admittedly, I did not think they were going to get past Vegas. And I'm not saying they are past Vegas at this point. But I feel a lot more potential that they could win the cup. Is anyone else in the same boat on that? Or You can see, I was going to say, it's pretty crazy. I would have loved to know what the odds were before playoffs started, during the Leafs series, when they are down 3-1, what the odds were for the Habs to win the Stanley Cup. They can imagine they are pretty astronomically high. But I wish I wish I remembered seeing what they were like It's absolutely insane Six to one. So, what are the odds on that on a, on a plus thing? Is that plus fifty six hundred? Is that correct? Or am, am I wrong on that numbers? All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go, 14,649, you got the five box SPX. That is correct, plus 5,600. You imagine that? Most people would probably bet they're like, ah, I'm not even gonna waste my money on that, it's a waste of money. <laughs> now anyone who did it are like, uh, that could be fun. 
We start off for the Flyers. 249 Obsidian Jersey. Carter Hart. Obsidian Jersey. Kata Hot. So we have packs are really hard to open. For the Habs. 349 Romanov. My elbow is squeaking. So what happens when you clean the uh, the glass? Fifty six to one. Jeez. For the Blues base jersey of Bennington, were they Mason? Were they uh, if you remember offhand? Were they the worst or best odds, whatever you want to call them, out of the bunch? Or is there another team? Super scripts J V R Philadelphia. I just find that incredible. 56 to 1. And right now they have a lead in the conference finals. That next game is absolutely insanely pivotal. They take a 3 1 lead. Woo! For the Ottawa Senators, Brady Kachuk. 299 Auto Senators For the Vegas Golden Knights William Carlson 299 We've got a rookie jersey for the Ottawa Senators Tam Stutzel, three ninety nine. Tim Stutzel, sick. And we've got for the Coyotes Nicholas Charmelson and Mason. Good afternoon, by the way. For the Coyotes, autograph. Stutzel. For the Vancouver Canucks, Brock Besser. For the Vegas Golden Knights, Purple Obsidian Rookie to 99 of Dylan Coughlin. Dylan Coughlin. Vegas. It's a nice 99 rookie. For the Blues, Robert Thomas. Jersey. For the Blues. And we've got a rookie jersey auto to 375 for the Penguins. Angelo. Anthony Angelo. Rookie jersey auto. Very nice. Those were one or two per case, I think. Rookie jersey autos. For the Vegas Golden Knights, Black Lustrous Rookie Auto of Quinny, two ninety nine. Lustrous Rookies Auto, Quinny. For the oh, there's two cards in here. For the Philadelphia Flyers, J V R. And we got a base to two ninety nine. Tyler Sagan. Sagan. 
We've got an extravagant materials, Alexi Lafreniere. Yeah, the first extravagant materials of Lafreniere have opened. I don't know if he's a rare one or not. I'm presuming he would be. Lafreniere. Sick. And we've got for the Calgary Flames base auto Mark Giordano. All right. Well, so Stuto and Lafreniere so far. So my guess is Kaprizov is coming up just because we have to at this point. For the Montreal Canadiens, 249 of Gallagher. Montreal Canadiens of City and Jersey. My arm keeps squeaking. Or my elbow, at least. We've got a finite rookies of Broberg for the Oilers. Philip Broberg, finite. Oilers. So far, all Canadian teams on this one. And we lost it. Autograph base of Sveshnikov for the Canes. Sveshnikov. And we've got for the Buffalo Sabres, Sam Reinhardt. There we go. The greatest five, but not the worst five I've seen. Nice to get a Lafreniere and a Stutzel. And a Rookie Auto. Oh, Shadow Boxes. Shadow Boxes uh, tend to be some another. You hit a lot of them or you hit none of them? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Does anyone want to make a bit of a push? Get these three spots of Trilogy done. And then we can rock that one out and uh, call it an afternoon, pretty much. But who wants to get these three trilogy spots filled? one person to get the ball rolling on that one and then it should be good to go there you go Detroit San Jose looks like they're getting checked out so if anyone wants to get Chicago Not that I think it's going to really change maybe much, but I believe there's a fresh case on the shelf. There's a counter. There's 10 boxes on the shelf, so I'm presuming it should be a fresh case. Oh. 
right, so Trilogy is filled. I'm just waiting on the payments to come in. Uh, absolutely. What's your question? And obviously, folks, if we're done, uh, once we're done trilogy, if any of the other platinum series two, the the tins, uh, or anything else is filled, I'll do those happily, just so you guys know. Hoping that payment comes through so we can start this bad boy off. Once that comes in, folks, we should be good to go. Presuming those spots are going to be paid for. Uh, what are the Avengers cards you have, though? How rare are they? And if there's a Brian in the room, let me know if you're having problems with the payments. Because obviously I can see that you're trying to check out them, but if uh, I'm going to have to cancel that if, if you're having any issues. 15, 16 OB tapes. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, those definitely are not going to be easy to find because they're super rare. That's a big card. So Brian, I will give you about two more minutes to let me know if you're gonna pay it in. If not, I will cancel those spots. I have a feeling that uh, or it looks like the system already canceled it. Never mind. All right, so there is two spots left, folks. Chicago, Detroit. 
Jesus. That one will be tough. Uh, uh, the the Ovechkin 13-14. That one uh, is going to be a decent sized value on that one. Obviously, you're not going to find a comparable, hence a, it's a one of one but... So there you go, folks. Chicago, Detroit, that's all that's left. Let's get those two filled. We can start off this break and then we can move on. So, anyone want to grab one or both of those? I would hate to leave this till tomorrow for just two spots. I'm sure if somebody grabs one, the other will flow nicely. Man, those are some big cards, man. Congrats. Legit, man, that's some that's some pretty big stuff. Anybody wants to be a hero and finish those two, <clears throat> those two off, that'd be great. Uh, you have some big stuff. Let me put it that way. I honestly can't give you a straight up, uh, a straight up answer of what it's valued at because they are one of ones. But 100%, they are pretty big cards. All right, there we go. It looks like trilogy is good. Realistically, if I like your best card out of the bunch is that prism one. I do have a guy that I know, uh, racing that is a monster OV fan. So if you need help, at least moving him, I can literally give you uh, or help you with the contact of literally the biggest OV collector. So if you need help on that, let me know. Uh, just send us an email and then uh, I can do the rest for you. I just need uh, scans of them if possible. But that's a, if, if you're trying to move them. If not, 
Again, move point then, we move on, there you go. But if you actually are interested in moving, I can at least point you in the right direction. All right, good luck everyone, here we go. Here we go, 14,647, five boxes of the trilogies. Maybe I'll get another one-on-one rendition like I did the last break. Can I do it? We will find out. Renditions for the Islanders of Bellows and a 999 of Cousins for the Buffalo Sabres. Okay. Super stage of Velarde for the Kings. Cousins to 499. Rookie jersey. And a make it attention Jeff with a G. So G E O F F. That's me. Renditions of Bowen Byram for the Avalanche. And a rookie auto for the Avalanche to 199 of Bowers. 199 Bowers. Super stage for the Maple Leafs, Robertson. Connor Ingram for the Nashville Predators. 2799. Ingram rendition, slight uh, nail mark, or whatever you want to call it on the top with a chip. It's 999. Super stage of Thurkoff for the Jackets. Verana for the Caps jersey. We've got a Yo Levy for Vancouver renditions. And for the Avalanche, Shane Bowers. Yeah, I literally just did a deal uh, with this guy, the OV guy, and another massive Ovechkin. So, as I, this guy is uh, a super good dude to deal with. And, uh, yeah. That's all I gotta say. So, more than happy to help you. Rookie rendition of McLeod for the Oilers. Yo Levy, $3.99 for the Vancouver Canucks renditions. Super stage of Quinny for Vegas. We got a rookie premieres auto, $3.99 of Hagel for the Hawks. Hagel, rookie premieres auto. And we've got a Belzeal for the Habs. Two seven and nine rookie renditions red. We've got a rendition of Lilligren for the Maple Leafs. Kivaranta for the Dallas Stars. Nine ninety nine. Renditions of Peyton Krebs for the Vegas Golden Knights. And a Velarde rookie auto to 199 for the LA Kings. Gabe Velarde. We've got a super stage for the Dallas Stars of Robertson and for the Dallas Stars renditions jersey of Ottinger. Ottinger. We've got a rendition of Norris for the Ottawa Senators. $9.99 for the Rangers. Lafreniere. $9.99 Lafreniere. All right, box number three. We've got a rendition of Yellison for the Calgary Flames. Robertson, $9.99 for the Maple Leafs. Super stage of Lindstrom for the Red Wings. Martin Jones for the San Jose Sharks jersey. Rendition.
Edition to Harley for the Dallas Stars. And a Premier's Rookie Auto for the Dallas Stars, number to 49, Jake Ottinger. Ottinger. Dallas Stars. Shouldn't have worn a long suit today. We've got a rendition of Soderstrom for the Coyotes. $9.99 Lindstrom for the Red Wings. Super Stage Sturkoff for the Jackets. We've got a Rookie Auto Lilligren for the Maple Leafs. Timothy Lilligren. And we've got a Mikey Anderson for the LA Kings to $9.99. Crafts off for the Rangers renditions and Adela Andre out of $4.99 rookie for the Dallas Stars. All right. We've got a Super Stage of Vanasek for the Caps. 99 Super Stage jersey for the Penguins of Angelo. We've got a rendition of Ottinger for the Dallas Stars. And a Robertson Premieres for the Dallas Stars. Super Stage of True for the Sharks. And a $4.99 of Kiv Linux for the Jackets. Renditions of McMichael for the Caps. And a Peyton Kreps rookie premieres $9.99 for the Golden Knights. Super Stage of Anderson for the LA Kings. Morgan Geeky premieres for the Carolina Hurricanes. And we've got a Evans for the Habs rookie renditions. And number to 25, base patch auto for the Preds, Roman Yossi. Yossi out of 25. That's pretty slick. We've got a rendition of Coglin for the Golden Knights. Liam Foodie for the Blue Jackets, $4.99. And an Alexiev for the Capitals, $9.99. We got a super stage of Korshkov for the Leafs. And we've got a $7.99 red renditions for the Maple Leafs of Timothy Lilligren. Nice jewel. That was sweet. We got a rendition of Del Andrea for the Dallas Stars. $9.99 Carlson Super Stage for the Hawks. Super Stage of Hawk and Pop for the Ducks. And we've got a Hellebuck Base Auto for the Winnipeg Jets. Connor Hellebuck. We've got a renditions of the Vegas Gold Knights Reed Duke, and that's a nice one. 49 rookie premieres patch for the Islanders, Ilya Sorokin. Out of 49, Sorokin. Sweet. And big finish, Lafreniere renditions, and a Martin caught the two ninety nine rookie. There we go. Solid, some nice stuff out of that one. All right.
Lame break for you. Ah, uh, sorry about that, Percy. I always try to get something for everybody, but. Give me one second, we'll be right back. live apparently all right Jared let me find where you are All right, good luck. Here we go, Berkey 94's box of 1112 SPX. Let's see what I can get for you. Face packs in this one. We've got a winning materials dual jersey of Matt Duchesne. Duchesne winning materials dual. Nice triple jersey, number to 50 of Orr, Carcillo, and Kartner. The winning trios were not easy to get. Out of 50, Orr, Carcillo, Kartner. We've got a rookie materials of Matt Fratton. Material jersey, Matt Fratton. Rookie jersey, auto to seven ninety nine. Adam Larson. Adam Larson, seven ninety nine. Ooh, that's a rare one. We've got a Legends of Hockey number to 25, Mike Bossy. Legends of Hockey, Mike Bossy. Had a lot of the nice stuff already. A rookie of Paul Postma, four ninety nine. Lots of base. Winning combos, dual jersey of Molson and Tavares. Molson, Tavares. And the ice pack is a 999 Colton Tuber. Here we go.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So obviously, I might get another monster up tomorrow. We'll find out. I might do a monster versus monster. Who knows? But well, it says it. Okay, well, we'll be off in a minute. The monster battle. I'm hoping so. I'm gonna see. Turn over if I can do it. I gotta see if I have anything cool I can do as a giveaway as an extra and how I can do it, but yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so with that being said, have yourselves a beautiful evening. See you guys tomorrow night for the monster, and happy Father's Day for uh, the fathers out there for tomorrow. So, have a good one, everyone.